Hey, what's up? Good to see you again. Today, it smells like summer. I just grabbed these magnificent bell peppers. Striped bell peppers, red, yellow, orange. Whatever is your favorite. For the stuffing, I am going to use wild bland rice and black beans, but whatever leftovers you have on hand would do the job, such as any cooked beans, rice, quinoa, whole grain bulgur, couscous, or even steamed or cooked cubed potatoes. First, you want to cut off pepper's tops, remove the white membranes and seeds, then place peppers along with their hats onto a baking tray, drizzle some olive oil and season with salt and pepper. This is a very important step. You want to pre-cook your bell peppers before adding your stuffing, otherwise the stuffing will end up overcooked. Next, our stuffing, Spanish style of course, with grilled corn kernels. Rotate corn over the flame until it turns grilled, then wrap in plastic and let rest to steam. Meanwhile, dice some onions and cut a bell pepper into cubes. Then grab the grilled and steamed corn and cut corn off the cob. Set aside and let's make some persillade with garlic, parsley and basil. Chop parsley and basil thinly, then add the minced garlic. Now mix the persillade with some breadcrumbs, olive oil and parmigiano. Two thirds of this mixture is going to be incorporated into the stuffing and we are going to save the remaining for the topping. Next, in a hot skillet, add olive oil and butter and saute the diced onions and peppers along with a thyme bouquet for 10 minutes on high heat. Then add the diced tomatoes and corn kernels and cook for 10 minutes more. Season with salt and ground black pepper and transfer to a large bowl. Then simply add all of the remaining ingredients such as cooked rice, beans, kalamata olives, some hot chipotle in adobo sauce if you wish, toasted pine nuts, eggs, cheese and two-thirds of the breadcrumbs herbs mixture. Aren't these pre-cooked peppers gorgeous? Save the tops and fill shells generously with the stuffing. Put them back in the oven for 20 minutes, then top with the remaining breadcrumbs herbs mixture and finish cooking for 20 minutes more. So, total cooking time, 1 hour and 20 minutes. To get the full recipe, go to brunoskitchen.net. Thank you guys for watching and don't forget to subscribe. It smells incredible and I bet it's going to taste amazing. It does actually. Wow.